Hi everybody, so I'm here with my February favorites and I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, my first item, or plural items, are the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. I know I'm kinda late in the bad, you know, everybody's already done so many videos with them, but I love them. I uh, started off with two, because they were buy one, get one 50% off, and ended up adding eight more to my collection. They are just, I love the color ranges. I love the payoff on majority of them. Um, there's a couple of them that aren't so great uh, with the payoff. You know, this one, the one that I'm wearing right now, Raspberry Pi, just one swipe and it's this color and the same for Candy Apple. But they also are buildable, which is really nice too. But these are the two. Um, this is Raspberry Pi, this is Candy Apple. They just feel great, they're nourishing, and you can really get good deals, especially right now with Ulta, they're buy two, get a third free, and then if you go online, you can get the coupon, $3.50 off of $10 or more. So that qualifies, you can get those two um, deals um, in this product. So, absolutely loving those. Next item, it's just always gonna be my favorites, Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Um, love it. It just gives me a blank canvas. It really minimizes my creasing. It makes my eyeshadows, uh, the colors more vibrant. Works extremely well with my oily lids and that's just been like the biggest benefit of this because trying on a whole bunch of other ones, they just did not do the job and Painterly is just, it's just up there. I love it. I think I always will. It's hard for me to, it's a really awesome products you're gonna have to come blow blow this out of the water for me to stop using it okay and the next item is kitten it's an eyeshadow this is by Stila I've had this for a long long time and kind of recently pulled it out again and started using it forgot how great this color was um, I don't really like it for a highlighter I love it for doing the inner kind of tear duct or just kind of an all-over lid color when you don't want to you just want that shine, but you're not going to do a whole dramatic look. It is a beautiful, I don't know how to s describe it. It's like, I would say a shimmery peach gold. I love that the fact it's not, it's very shimmery, but it's not chunky. And um, it really blends out smooth. I've used this on top of my lips to kind of um, give it a different color. I've also used it on my cheeks as a highlighter if you don't have one, um, so it, it can be a multi-purpose kind of product, which always does well with me. Okay, um, next item. This is the Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner Pencil in 01 Black. I am so happy that I found this liner. My go-to liner, or you know, pencil liner, has always been Smolder by MAC. Um, i watched a bunch of videos, and I know there's a couple of people that have talked about this. I think I think Nur, and I don't know if Marnie has, just a bunch of people that I hear randomly, um, Milani, Milani, Milani. So I decided to pick it up, and to my surprise, it is very, very, very comparable to Smolder by MAC. They are both very creamy, they are both extremely dark, really, really pigmented. It's just a really deep, deep black. But with Milani, it actually, um, it's very blendable, but if you let it set, it's going to stay. When I put Smolder on my to tight line or um, my waterline, a couple of hours I'll notice some black kind of gathering in my tear duct or it kind of even drops under my eye where I've done my concealing. With this Milani, it just doesn't do that. And I actually wanted to show you. Uh, so that's Milani. This is Smolder. I've kind of worn it down to a nub. Okay, so those are the two. And I'll just let those set and then I'll come back and kind of show you. Actually, looking at it now, Smolder is a little bit darker. It looks a little bit more inky, but they're both really still dark. But I'll get back to that to show you the consistency and um, how it sets a lot better than Smolder. And, you know, I want my liner to stay on my tight line or my my waterline. I don't want it dropping down so you can't beat that Milani is like a fraction of the price of the Smolder um, and it basically gives the same color payoff on all that so I was so pleasantly surprised when I started using this. I just really really love it. Okay next is um, Tweezerman Tweezers. I lost my pair 
um, what, in December, four years I had those. They were just plain silver tweezermans. Worked great, was so sad. It took me forever to purchase a new pair because I didn't want to believe that I lost them. And when I went to Sally's, um, the girl goes, oh, you should try the pink ones. She goes, I've tried both. And the pink ones just seem to work, pull everything out. And I was like, no, but the silver ones are a little bit, they seem thinner. So, you know, I like that. I feel that they're, if they're too chunky, I'm not going to be able to pull out. You know, the hair is going to be more difficult. She goes, no, that's what I thought, but this is great. So sure enough, I've been in love with it. I used to sometimes have to go and do a double take on a hair. No. One time and the hair is out. It just, it grabs everything and anything. So um, there's not really a description. Of it. it just says Tweezerman Stainless Tweezerette. So I would definitely recommend this if you're in the market for one. They're super sharp. My other Tweezerman, they... It was four years. I never sent them back to get sharpened because they were just as sharp as the day I got them. So absolutely love these. Okay, final item is a hair product. It's the Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream. Um, I don't know how this works on straight hair because, of course, I don't have straight hair. But um, I use this when I get out of the shower. I'll wring my hair out and then I'll just lather this not lather but just kind of put this all over like if I were putting on a moist you know conditioner and then I comb through um I comb through my hair out afterwards I like it because it makes it makes me feel like I'm protecting my hair even though I'm combing it out and the purpose of this it says it's a lavish cream which instantly penetrates the hair shaft with exotic pure Moroccan argon oil and um, it defines curls and smooths away frizz I feel like that's what it really really does for me before I use this, I would use um, the Garnier Fruchis. It's a serum, the hair frizz serum, and it works. It works good too. And sometimes I still use that with this as well. But this, it just really protects my hair. It really moisturizes it. It moisturizes it, and it does define my curls. Um, I've just, I've been really happy with it. I know my hair kind of looks crazy today, but um, it does. It, it, it's really cut down on my frizz. And I feel like my hair feels a lot healthier. And the smell is just amazing. It's what I call the salon smell. Like after you go get your hair done at the salon, you know how wonderful your hair smells. This product has that same beautiful smell. I just, I love it. My husband loves the smell. Especially like if I had my hair up and then I bring it down. At the end of the day, it, it still smells. So it's just, oh, love this product. Okay, so now back to the eyeliners. The top one was the Milani, the bottom is a Max Molder, and I'm just going to, um, I guess go across. So, there you have it. Um, the Milani one did not move at all. The Smolder, it just slip and slides. Um, of course, if you have the Smolder, it is a great liner, don't get me wrong. I just always have to set it with a black eyeshadow. But with this Milani, I don't even have to do that. If you do want to blend it, though, you got to do it quick. Um, because if not, it'll set. But that is such a good thing. And let's see if I go further. Yeah, you see. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, anyway, that's my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed them. I'm so interested to hear what are y'all's favorites currently. So just feel free to leave those below in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.